Hello there, uh, my name is Tavis Millerov. I'm the fire inspector with the Meridian Township Fire Department and it's that time of year again. We're getting towards Thanksgiving and the holiday season and it's a time when I know in my household the uh, making of goodies, baking and cooking ramps up to a, a feverish pace. So I'm here to talk to you today about a couple of tips, some things to look into, watch out for, just to make sure that you stay safe this holiday season. The number one cause of fires in the United States every year and has been for a long time has been kitchen fires, okay? That's uh, the biggest risk we face and when it comes to kitchen fires, our biggest problem that we see is just people who are unattentive to what's going on. And hey, I get it. We have holidays, we have friends over, we're entertaining, the kids are running around, everyone's having a great time and we forget about that casserole that's in the oven, okay? So one of the tips that I always say to people um, to kind of remind yourself is anytime that you're cooking, you make sure that you have a utensil in your hand or a, a glove on your hand as well, okay? And that way, if you have to take something, set it down because you're gonna go check your email. Or you gotta take the oven mitt off because you gotta go grab something else. It's gonna remind you that, oh yeah, hey, I've got something on the stove or I've got something in the oven and it's gonna keep you where you're supposed to be, okay? Unattentiveness is the number one cause of kitchen fires, bar none uh, from anything else. Um, the other thing we wanna talk about is uh, just making sure that you're keeping things clean. Um, obviously, we get some, some problems with uh, people who don't have ovens that are clean. If you make sure that oven stays nice and clean throughout the year, when you go to do your cooking here in the holiday season, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, we do get calls occasionally from people where they're, uh, they think that their, their oven is getting too hot uh, when they do the self-cleaning or they see a lot of smoke from the self-cleaning oven. And believe it or not, that's normal. The self-cleaning feature of the oven is the oven itself burning off all of the uh, waste products or spills or anything else that's in there um, that, that's causing a problem. So smoking from an oven in the self-cleaning mode is fairly normal. But if it's a worry to you, call us, call 911. We're more than happy to come out and take a look at it just to make sure that it's not uh, running away from you and causing a hazard, okay? One of the other things that we see this holiday season, we see stovetop fires, especially with those who are doing, who are cooking with uh, uh, grease and frying things. So again, one of the biggest things, biggest misconceptions that we try to uh, teach everybody is you never, ever, ever want to put oil, or excuse me, you never, ever, ever want to put water on a grease fire, okay? When you do that, the old adage that oil and water doesn't mix is exactly what happens. That water encapsulates, it goes into a, you know, four or 500 degree oil, the water instantly turns to steam and it causes the steam to expand and that's why the oil and the fire and everything gets much bigger um, and people say it explodes. It doesn't really explode. What you have is a rapid steam conversion that causes and displaces oil to fly everywhere else, okay? Definitely causing a burn hazard to you as well as uh, potentially spreading any kind of flames or fire throughout the kitchen, okay? So when it comes to a grease fire, the biggest thing to remember is, you know, turn the stove off and then you're gonna wanna take a lid and slide that lid over it to cover it up and try to smother it. If the lid's not handy to you, you can always take something like baking soda and you're gonna wanna take that and just pour the baking soda on it as best you can. Again, you're looking for a smothering action trying to put that fire out and uh, you're not trying to, gonna try and put water in there, okay? And also, leave it on the stove. Don't try to carry the pan outside. We see several people who will try to carry a pan of flaming oil outside that's either going to A, spread the fire throughout the rest of the house, B, it's really going to burn you, okay? And we don't wanna see that happen anytime, anytime soon, okay? So, those are your holiday tips for you uh, as far as for cooking right now, and I'm sure we'll have more to come soon.